I may just want to collect the system data, which is similar to that WinEnum script. Um, this would be a good thing to not touch the disk. Um, this will give me a, a, a virtual desktop, which is like our desktop. Uh, the problem is that it will alert the user. Um, we can just access the file system. Like I said, you're totally uh, in memory until you change a file, and then you are no longer in memory. We can just get a point old command show. So we'll just do that just to show what it looks like. So then it opens up this neat thing, and it gives us some interpreter DLL. We can hit the PS command like we did. Then we might want to migrate to uh, explore. We'll just hear notepads right there, so we'll migrate to that. Anyway, and then you can do all the same. Then you can do all the same interpreter commands that you've been doing. You know, hash dub or upload or whatever you want to do. And uh, so you can background it, for example. And what's cool is these all open up in different tabs. So now I can go back over here, and I can go back to my sessions tab. And at the same time, I can open a session on this box, for example. See what kind of options I got. I haven't actually done this collect system data, so let's try it, see what happens. Yeah, if you go to the main page, you can actually hit collect, it'll do it for all of them. So when I had 600, when I had 600 uh, you know, machines that I might collect, hit collect, it collected all the information from all of them. So it does actually screen dumps and everything in the system. So oh, cool. Pretty, pretty wicked. All right, so it looks like we can, like I said, I haven't, I haven't played with this. Um, so we can collect the system information, passwords, screenshots, SSH keys. Let's just get it all, what the heck. So I'm going to collect the data. And I'm assuming that it gives it back to us in a nice file. Um, see if the report's ready yet. Now, this is the part that I really like, is that you can generate a report, and you can generate this based on a lot of different things. An executive summary, a large report, you know, a report focused on the network services. So we want to show our boss we did a good job, so we'll give him the fancy executive report. So addresses to include, so we want to uh, include them all. If we just wanted to do a, uh, or a report on one host, we would do that. So here's the host summary. Tells whether we compromised it or not. Tells how many vulnerabilities. If we would have run Expose, we probably would have got a lot more vulnerabilities. Shows all the host names, the OSs. Um, I ran it at my store. It was pretty smart on... Um, Cisco and, and, and all the different things that I had in my store. So the OS detection was pretty good. Anyway, so go back to reports. So I guess that's about it. If anybody's interested in seeing it anymore, I can um, show you later. Um, I haven't looked at this modules tab. <laughs> just exploit list. Is that just exploit list? Okay, so you would go to modules if you just want to find more information about each exploit. All right, that's it. Thank you.